Okay, guys, I have the prompt right here. This poem begins with the narrator going fishing, but when this fish becomes a glimmering girl, he embarks on a lifelong quest to find her. What do both the character and the song, Wandering Angus, have to say about the nature of human yearning? Thank you, Sam. Okay, so let's talk about yearning. Everyone at this table has yearned for stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have yearned for things. I'm yearning for my driver's license right now, actually. <laughs> well, so. see, you think you're making a joke, Drew, but that's actually a very real kind of yearning. When you're daydreaming about getting your license, what's that really about? It's about wishing for freedom, you know? It's about self-determination, too. You know, adventure. You can go places in a car that you couldn't go if you had to ask your parents to take you there. That's great, Aiden. So, Drew, where are you going to go once you get your license? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anywhere, I guess. I just want to go places. Well, it doesn't really matter. He's just got this fire in his head, you know? It's like, mm -hmm. it's like the same reason that the narrator goes wandering through the woods. Ah, fire burning in my head. <laughs> Funny. But the fact is, is that you all know quite a bit about what this poem is already about. Um, the desire to quiet your own mind or pursue something magical. These are the kinds of things that can define an entire life. Yeah, but wait a minute. It seems like the only magical part is at the beginning when he's a kid, isn't it? When he's mm. a... Well, it never specifically says he's a, a kid, but... Okay, that's true, but the words and images just give me a sense of innocence. Okay, that's great, but can you give us some examples? Okay, well, like here. Hooked a berry to a thread. He makes his fishing stuff by himself, and it's like, I don't know, miniature stuff. It just hmm. gives me a sense of youth. Okay, yeah, I get that. Like, like it's, a, it's a stream, not a river. Yeah. Hey, what he catches is a tiny silver trout, not a big, like a whale or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And this poor kid has no idea his life is about to get way, way more complicated. <laughs> what's funny about that? Well, one word. Girls. Girls. Wait, what's so bad about the girl? The narrator describes her as beautiful. I mean, she's glimmering with this apple blossom in her hair. Yeah, and then she leaves him. She calls his name and then she runs away. Total flirt. Chase me, Angus. Uh, <laughs> cute. So, uh, I wasn't sure if we were supposed to get that she dumped him or did she die? Where do you see an indication that she dies? Oh, she um, faded through the brightening air. Uh, it sounds kind of ghostly to mm -hmm. me. Well, maybe she's just a mirage in the first place, like something that he dreamed up. She could represent like a romantic desire or a mystical symbol of some sort. Mm. Mm. You got something else for us, Aiden? Remember what I said about him feeling young at the beginning? Yeah. Well, there's definitely a sense of aging in here. Mm. Keep, keep going with okay, that. Okay, okay. Well, time goes by stanza by stanza in this poem. At first, he's a kid catching a fish. Then it seems more like he's a young man in love, and at the end, he's an old man. <laughs> Just wandering the hills going, oh, where'd that girl go? <laughs> no, but see, it's more romantic than that. Listen, he says, I will find out where she has gone. And he actually thinks he's going to find her too, whatever she represents. Hey, you're, ki mm -hmm. you're kidding, right? What do you mean, okay? He says, I will kiss her lips and take her hands and walk among long dappled grass. He has the whole thing figured out. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> well, Sam, it, Angus says that he's old with wandering through hollow lands and hilly lands. I mean, the, the old guy probably doesn't look that hot anymore, right? <laughs> okay, first of all, this isn't all about looks, right? And second of all, Angus is pretty optimistic, I would say. Now, where do you see evidence of optimism, Sam? Well, I don't know. It's like the whole thing, though. It's just, mm -hmm. it's so pretty. It's full of moth-like stars and moon apples. Okay, so it's pretty. So what? Well, even though Angus doesn't find what he's looking for, I mean, he's not mad at the world. He's, he's upbeat about the whole thing. Okay, but I mean, the poem itself is kind of a bummer, right? <laughs> well, he's basically like a hobo wandering <laughs> the hills, right? Pining after this young girl who he never even, you know. Okay, okay well, okay, it's not just about the girl. Hmm, can you say a little more about that, Aiden? Meeting her is important because it sets him on his path. Before, he was just some kid with a fire in his head, but now he's a... A wanderer? A... Yeah, he's a wanderer. He just... <laughs> what kind of a destiny is that? I don't know. Okay, I think Sam's right. He doesn't say he's sorry for having traveled all over looking for her. Mm -hmm. Wandering doesn't sound so bad to me. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The world is full of so many wonderful things, like gold and silver apples. You know that that's... A metaphor, right? Yeah, I get that. Thanks, okay, Stu. Okay, just checking. But it could represent a lot of things, you know? Like, 
I like to think it represents Angus's wonderful nights and days. So did any of you actually look up who Angus is? Got it. Wikipedia says, Angus is the Irish god of love, youth, and poetic inspiration. Thank you. And that's true, but remember our rule about Wikipedia. Okay. Always look it up, right? Yeah. Double check. Yes. Accurate. Um, OK, so we talked about love. We talked about youth. What about poetic inspiration? I guess Angus inspired Yeats. Or Yeats? It's Yeats. Yeats. OK, it. but it's called The Song of Wandering Angus. So it's Angus's song. So does that mean Angus is the one who's inspired? Mm -hmm. By watching the fish turn into a girl? Or losing that girl. I get what you mean. You know, it's like it's like love songs. Like <laughs> it's not, not about being in love, they're about losing the love. So then what's the message here? Writing poetry makes you feel better? True, I never knew. <laughs> I'm a complex man. You know? <laughs> uh, but okay, you said, right, that Angus has learned to what cherish every moment? Writing poetry is a way of paying attention to the world. I know, I get you. I like your perspective, so. Okay. I like that. So writing okay. poetry is a way of paying attention to the world. But why else? Why is this story in the form of a poem and not like a story? Because a poem can uh, communicate things that other forms can't. Right? Okay, which is? Uh, that's all I got. <laughs> I guess that's got to be up to the poet. <laughs> but, I mean, look, this poem is really short, right? Mm -hmm. Not a lot happens, and yet it's able to convey all of this meaningful stuff we've been talking about. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Losing the girl inspires Angus to wander, but it also inspires him to write poetry about it. Maybe he's searching for something to give his life meaning. But not all who wander are lost, you know? Oh, where did you hear that? I read it on a bumper sticker. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I bet whoever was driving that car was lost. <laughs> well, you guys certainly aren't. These papers are going to be super interesting. So should we schedule a time to get together and review first drafts? Tuesday? Yeah. Next Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes. Yeah.